I have a small personal water filter from the company Membrane Solutions that I'd like to share with you today. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I want to thank the company Membrane Solutions, MS Pure, for sending me this personal water filter so that I could share it with you. Now, just a few things before we get started. First, I'm not going to go through all the specifications for this. What I have, I'll put in the video description below, as well as links to where you can look at these if you want to investigate them a little bit further. But there is a short backstory that I feel it's necessary to share with you, and that is this is not the first product from Membrane Solutions solutions that I have reviewed. I did a six liter water filter system that uh, I did that probably a year and a half ago that I gave it a good review because it was a good product at a good price. And I'll put a link to that review at the end of this video. Um, when they offered to send me some personal water filters to test out, I thought, uh, yeah, okay, what they were showing me looked pretty good. But when they arrived, that's not what I had thought was coming to me. So I considered whether or not I would continue through with the review on this. And I thought it's worthwhile showing you this, if for no other reason, so that you are aware of what it is you're buying if you look at these on the website and think, are thinking about purchasing them. So basically, it's a very simple water filter system. And if it looks like the Life Straw, because that's because it's intended to. In fact, it's even in the video or the product description to refer to this as a life straw. What can I tell you about it is that it has a four stage filtration system starting with a coarse filter right there. That's what they call their coarse filter. Really it's just a, a screen. Inside of that is a carbon filter. Uh, well first there's a, a, a material or a cloth filter and in past that is the carbon filter and then past that is the hollow core fibers and again the specifications for this will be in the video description below. You know I, the question you want to know when you're pur purchasing a water filter of any type is is it effective and yes these have been tested and do remove all the contaminants specifically uh, bacteria and uh, protozoa such as Giardia and Crypterus Spiridion to a, a reasonable level, a, a certified level. And uh, so, yeah, it is a good water filter. It is the same filter system that was with the larger system that I reviewed some time ago. So I have confidence in this as a filter system. That's not my concern with this. So I'll, I'll show you the, some of the features of this and then I'll, I'll tell you why it's different and what you need to watch out for. So the whole point of this is it's a very inexpensive product by comparison to its competitor and it's intended to be worn around your neck. It actually has a removable clip here so that you just have it with you. It's on your person when you're out hiking a boat and if you have need to purify or drink some, not purify, that's very important to distinguish. If you need to filter some water to ensure that it is safe to drink, then it's with you, right? That's the whole point of this thing. Uh, that I understand. However, using this is another issue. So when I looked at it, the one that I thought I was receiving to start with had two things on the end. This is the input end. Two things on the end that this one does not have. The first thing it had was a little projection, a spout, where I could take a piece of tubing and attach to it. That gave me the option of being able to dip it into a bottle of water, dirty water, or maybe even kneel down by a stream and reach in and drink from it. So a couple of options there. It also gave me the option of being able to screw it on to a regular size threaded pop bottle. And there's a lot of bottles that are uh, people like to carry when they're out in the woods, not, not a Nalgene or anything, but the smaller pop bottle size, the standard screw type, it would screw onto that. And that gave you an option to have dirty water in the bottle that you could squeeze or at least drink out of through the straw. This has neither. So it really does, in my opinion, limit how you're going to use it. In fact, the more I considered this, I thought, and it's not like I'm going to kneel down and lay on my belly next to a stream in order to get this in. Um, I could dip up with my, my, cop, my cup or mug or something like that and then drink from it that way. That, that's true. That would work. But I came up with a very simple solution because really this will not be considered my primary source of water filtering. If I have, if I'm going to take a filter intentionally, then I'll take one of the other ones that are a little bit more versatile. But the nice thing about this is I can have it with me in my backpack for a day hike 
when I was not intending to filter water, but found myself in need of doing so. So what was the solution? A plastic bag, it's just that simple. I do have a rubber band that I seem to have dropped here somewhere. But the idea is, you can see I marked on here dirty water. And all I did with this is just wrap the filter up in the bag, put the rubber band around it, dropped it in my backpack in one of the pockets where it's just kind of like a chaos. It's all the odds and ends types of thing. And there it resides. And I can drop this into any shoulder bag, a haversack, or just a little day pack if I'm going out for just a couple of hours. And then I have something that I can count on to clean my water to make it safe for me to drink. And the way that I would use it is the bag would be for collection. So I would reach into the stream, puddle, whatever it is that uh, the source of water, it's a nice strong bag, reach in like this, fill this full of water, and then I can dip the filter inside of this, remove the drinking cap and drink from it. And to me, that's about the most efficient way of using this when you're out on the trail because actually I have no idea how else you're going to use it except again you could put it into a bottle of water or into a cup of water but uh, yeah it works it works in that it's effective and safe to use that was my number one concern I have confidence in that what I am disappointed in is the lack of versatility in this filter it's not quite the same as the one that I had expected the upside of this is they're inexpensive and that is probably the one selling point that I would make some something I could recommend is that if you're looking for the least expensive option that you can wrap in, inside of a plastic bag or if you have some other means of collecting water throw it into the bottom whatever bag you're taking out for the day or even just on your person in a pocket somewhere then you have the confidence of knowing that should you need it you can clean water for drinking okay short review not a lot said here I will be giving you the links and all the technical specifications for this filter in the video description below. If you have any comments or questions on this filter, then please put those in the comment section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.